Hi, I'm a trust fund baby and this is what I spend my 80,000 monthly income on. My biggest expenses are my properties. So I own three properties which I visit seasonally. My house in Houston is where I live majority of the time, my New York apartment for when I want to be a city girl and go on shopping trips over the weekend, and my apartment in Korea for when I visit family. I visit Korea eight to 10 times a year to visit my parents and I always fly business class. Flying comfortably for that long in the air makes paying for business class so worth, but for all my domestic flights, I ride privately. And most of my domestic flights are to New York because I love shopping in the city. So I'll meet up with my friends, go shopping, eat good food, and I also love to buy gifts. Recently, my boyfriend was needing a new belt, so I went to New York to get him a classic leather belt. But yes, basically when in New York, most of my money is spent on traveling, shopping, and eating. Speaking of eating, at my Houston house, I have private chefs who cook me anything I ask for. It saves me so much time because ultimately, time is also money. But something that requires a lot of time but is so worth it are all the treatments I get done, like my laser hair removal sessions, my bi-weekly scalp treatments, weekly facials, and quarterly high-quality haircuts. These are some of the high-maintenance things that help me stay low-maintenance. Anyways, those are just a few of the things I spend my money on throughout the month. Oh, to be rich. What on earth? Has three houses. What is a trust fund, baby? I've never heard of that. That's insane. Three houses. $80,000 a month. That's like seven times I'll ever get. Like, that is insane. $80,000 a month. Regular hair removal, weekly scalp check appointments, hair, high heels, buying my husband a leather belt from New York, a <sighs> boyfriend. That's just insane. I am Grace from the viral trust fund baby video and let me just break down that video because I've been getting so many DMs, so many comments about it. Let's just start from the very beginning. I am not a trust fund baby. It was an April Fool's joke and I don't make $80,000 a month. I purposely made this video as believable as possible because I knew it had the potential to go viral, but I also was very, very intentional with every single thing I included in here. So let's break it down together. Starting off with this beautiful necklace, I included this because I knew so many people would ask me about necklace details. And this is from Rowan. I got a custom made. I love them so much. And then that next part, I talked about the different properties that I own, which are in Houston, New York, and Korea. First of all, this is my parents' house. And so I don't own any properties. I'm actually living at their house. And I purposely said I live in Houston majority of the time because A, it's true. And B, because people would say, oh my God, you're a trust fund baby. What's their to do in Houston. And if I was a real trust fund baby, I would not be in Houston. I would be in Europe, in Asia, or in New York. As for this shot with a New York apartment, I used to work as a live-in nanny for a family in New York, and I now fly up periodically to go work with them, and so this is their apartment. And I purposely didn't add too many shots at their apartment because of their own safety. And then for that next part where I said I go to Korea eight to 10 times a year, that was completely false. I do not go that often. And this clip is not my Korea apartment. It's actually a luxury dental clinic lounge. I actually had a class collaboration with them last time I was in Korea and I got my teeth professionally whitened. So if you're needing teeth whitening or veneers or any teeth related things, highly recommend Minish in Korea. The part where I said I always pay for business, that was completely false. I have, yes, written business a few times and I'm very fortunate, but that was all because of upgrades and points. This is absolutely a luxury for me and I would, if I had the money, pay for our business every single time. And then for the next part where I said I fly privately every time I ride domestic flights, that was also false. Your girl cannot afford that. And if you know, you know, this is actually Southwest, which is why I kind of put that into the clip. I did include one shot of me riding privately, which was this one. To give y'all some context, I have ridden privately once, but that was through the family that I work for in New York. For this, I was honestly laughing so hard when I saw the comments of people saying, you're a trust fund baby and you can't even round up or you're only paying 20%. I just thought it was low-key hilarious because if I was a true trust fund baby, I would absolutely just round this up to like 200. And then I had so many people woke in the comments saying, oh my God, you probably had the biggest party ever and that's all you tipped. And to give y'all some context, this was a dinner for two people. I tipped that much money, 20%. And then on top of the 20%, I actually tipped $50 in cash to get rid of my cash. So I did tip well over 20%, but regardless, I just thought it was funny to include this. And then this next part about the leather belt that I got for my boyfriend in New York, that was actually true because I did fly up to New York for a weekend trip just to get my hair cut, go shopping and buy a gift for my boyfriend. But my ass rode Spirit Airlines, so just keep that in mind. And then for this about the private chefs, that was a clip of my brother cooking. And then the second one is this ratatouille, which I made myself. And I knew if I included this shot, people 
people will be like, bro, Ratatouille. And yeah, a lot of people were asking about Ratatouille. Indeed it is. And for all the treatments I show that are high maintenance things that can be low maintenance, I truly believe in that concept. But obviously I don't get it this frequently. Like I think I said facials I get every week, but no, facials are just once in a while when I want to treat my skin. For these facials, I did get a few of them for free in exchange for content. But yeah, after I had a membership for like a month, I ended the membership because it was too expensive. But I do believe in treating yourself once in a while. And this scalp treatment, I got a lot of questions about this. I don't get them bi-weekly, like that's insane. I've gotten this once in my life and it was in Korea for a collab. Highly recommend though, because I learned a lot about my scalp. And then last but not least, this dress got a lot of questions as well. This is from Ghani, I love this dress. And if you look right down there, there's a fine print that says, happy belated April Fools. So happy belated April Fools, and that just shows anyone can fake it on the internet and people will believe them. And to close, honestly, manifestation is real because look at the email that I got today. Um, who knows, maybe I'll be on a yacht next month. She really got me good. I was watching that thinking, oh my God, idiot. Cause I really believed her. Like, I don't really know what planes look like in, on the outside of America, but to me, I thought I was a private jet on the outside. I'm thinking, Cause that really like, got me good. But she still seems to like, have money. Like, she literally said she went to New York for the weekend to get like, a haircut and a leather belt for a boyfriend, which is fair enough. But that was a good April Fool's prank. Like, I genuinely felt for that. I was thinking £80,000 or well, $80,000 a year a month is insane. That's just. Oh my god, I just. I really got. I'm, I'm like through the edge. I'm like in shock. I just did not think that was an April Fool's prank. But I like how she broke down like each of the videos. She said, like, This is my parents' house, which still looked incredible. Like the facials is from a career club. The dentist one got me the most. I was thinking, because it literally looked like a Korean home and when she looked at the dentist chair, like dentist like waiting area, I was like, oh my God, I would never have thought that. It kind of makes me want to do like a TikTok video and just do something like that. That was just insane. I would never in my life think that was a scam. I'm trying to see what else like, she posted. Like, the April Fool's come at the end, like, I didn't even see that. What else is there? Like, like babysitting her, nannying, whatever it was in New York, like that looked real. I don't know, she really got me good. <laughs> but it does kind of show like how social media is so fake. Because if I saw that on my view page, I would think that's real. I'd be like, I roll and hit it, and just in my self opinion. But like as an outsider, I'm like, I quite like how she's just broken it down. Man. Like if I was a trust fund, maybe while I live in Houston, which to me, I don't really know what Houston's like, but I just think that's insane. She really fooled me, so fair play for that.